Venus, the barren planet, is known for clouds of sulfuric acid suffocating carbon dioxide atmosphere that is 90 times thicker than Earth and extremely hot surface temperatures that reached 462 degrees Celsius. But this is not the case with Venus 700 million years ago. In 1978, NASA's Pioneer spacecraft found an evidence that the planet may have shallow oceans on its surface once. According to a new study, Venus may have perfectly habitable environment for 2 to 3 billion years, suggesting life would have ample time to emerge there. Based on several investigations, it's believed that Venus may have been planet hosting liquid water for 2 to 3 billion years. Researchers from NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies shared a series of five simulations that show what Venus environment would be like based on different levels of water coverage. All five of the simulations suggest Venus may have been able to maintain stable temperature ranging from low of 20 degrees Celsius to high of 50 degrees Celsius for about 3 billion years. Under stable climate conditions, Venus would be able to support liquid water and in turn possibly allow life to emerge. In fact, if the planet hadn't experienced the resurfacing event, it might have remained habitable today. Okay, how has it lost its environment? Well, a massive resurfacing event about 700 million years ago triggered a series of incidents that caused a release or outgassing of carbon dioxide stored in the rocks and atmosphere of the planet. As a result, Venus' atmosphere became incredibly dense and hot for life to survive. Soon after the planet formed, Venus had undergone a period of rapid cooling. As the planet evolved, silicate rocks would slowly absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and locked it away in the planet's crust. While the exact cause of the outgassing event is still unknown, it's possible that it's linked to the planet's volcanic activity. As magma and molten rock bubbled up to their surface, large amounts of carbon dioxide would release it back into the atmosphere. If the magma had solidified before reaching the surface, it would have created a barrier and prevented gas from being reabsorbed. And as per another theory, based on data from NASA's Peony spacecraft, suggested Venus had an early ocean that was evaporated by the Sun. When this happened, water vapor molecules in the atmosphere were split apart by ultraviolet radiation and the hydrogen escaped into the space. As a result, carbon dioxide built up in the atmosphere, creating a runaway greenhouse effect that trapped heat and led to the present day conditions observed on the hellish planet. Okay, now is there any possibility for life on Venus? Yes, however, a few scientists who think that it is possible for life to exist in the clouds of Venus. Temperatures and pressures up there are close to those of Earth's surface. So, it's possible that Venus in life. Those clouds are made mostly of sulfuric acid which seems to argue against the Venus life idea. But over the last few decades, biologists have found all manner of hardy microbes here on Earth, capable of tolerating similarly extreme conditions. And these acidic Venus clouds could potentially provide chemical energy to any microbes that may be floating around up there. Mysteriously, Venus' upper atmosphere also abounds with mysterious compound that absorbs ultraviolet radiation. Nobody knows what this stuff is and where it comes from. Okay, this is the life-supporting story of our Earth's sister planet Venus. Let's reunite with the life-supporting story of another planet in this series. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching.